I heard a terrible thing. SD-WAN solutions are not secure. So I heard this thing that about SD-WAN solutions, all of a sudden they're not secure. Why? Because there's this report these hacker people have done things and they've scanned the internet and they found that there are SD-WAN boxes out there. And my gosh, you can identify what version of code they might be running in some cases, daemons, some cases OSs. And then, well, if we know what code they're running, then we know what vulnerabilities they are uh, vulnerable to. And then we can hack them. SD-WAN, brave new world for the hacker kingdom. Is that the case? case. Well, there's a risk here, so let's talk about this. Um, first up, uh, you got to think about where your SD-WAN is placed, where your SD-WAN forwarders are placed. If you are using the model where you are uh, using internet circuits and using the internet as WAN, that means the internet circuits, which are public-facing circuits connected to the big bad public internet, are plugged right in to your SD-WAN appliances, making your SD-WAN device an attack surface, right? Think about it this way. So here's your here's your SD-WAN device, and then you've got probably at least two circuits, and what are they plugged into again? We're going right to the internet. So where's your attack surface? Your attack surface is uh, here, right at the point where those circuits enter your SD-WAN box. That's the concern. That is what we are dealing with because those ports are secured. What's the necessary posture for your SD-WAN device then? It must be hardened. It should be hardened against internet attack because after all, there it is, plugged right in. But you don't want a bunch of vulnerabilities on that SD-WAN box where as hackers are scanning that box, they can figure out what you're vulnerable to and then begin to exploit those vulnerabilities using your SD-WAN device as a jumping off point to get into the rest of the network. So let's say that bad traffic comes in there and now you've got some bad actor sitting on your SD-WAN device. Well, we'll give them some arms because now they can use your SD-WAN device as uh, that jumping off point. To what? Well, they can go this way, that way, any way that your SD-WAN box is connected to, because it's probably connected to a lot of different things. Your SD-WAN box is part of your SD-WAN uh, software-defined wide area network fabric that should be connected to a whole lot of different offices in your environment. And if it is, and you get the bad guy uh, sitting there on top of your SD-WAN box because he's compromised it fully and owns the box, he could, in theory, jump off to any of these other points that your uh, software-defined WAN fabric is connected to within your environment. Ooh, that's a bad deal. Nothing new here. So the question may be in your mind is, well, how real is this threat? Fair enough. Let's take a look. Here is a presentation that uh, one of my friends on Twitter sent to me. You can always tweet at me, at ECBanks, uh, anything interesting like this and uh, I'm happy to take a look. And as I went through this, this very Star Wars-y kind of presentation, the opening part of the presentation that I'm flying through here really talks about, hey, SD-WAN people said that this was uh, safe, and uh, gosh, we did some looking around and found out that it's not safe. Well, how did we find that out? And they're talking about how they uh, were able to do some basic injection, and uh, and then make the point, and this is kind of a brutal slide here, this talk is not about sophisticated hacking techniques because you don't need them to hack SD-WAN. This is a talk about how to find the low-hanging fruit on the internet. They're saying that SD-WAN as a whole is quote-unquote low-hanging fruit. Ouch, pretty rough. Let's, let's move ahead to the end of this here. Well, what did they find? They found a whole bunch of SD-WAN devices that, that when they did their scanning, they did a mass scan and found all these SD-WAN devices littered across the globe. Uh, here are, based on their fingerprinting of what's going on, they found a whole bunch of different SD-WAN uh, nodes. And here they, they scatter around uh, the different types in this pie chart here. Uh, and then the products and so on. And then here's one of the big slides, vulnerabilities. These are everything they scanned on the public internet were able to find. And based on their fingerprinting and other information, they were able to, to get those boxes who were sitting on the edge of the network to give up. 
they were able to uh, find these vulnerabilities. These CVE numbers are uh, catalogs. It's, it's a known, defined vulnerability. Here's what the problem is. And if you know if you know that the device is vulnerable to this, then uh, that means, oh, here's my avenue to exploit the device. Conclusion. So we get to the conclusion in this thing. Many different vendors and related products have been found. In other words, we discovered these by doing a scan across the internet, and they did. Those pie charts earlier showed that. Most products are susceptible to version leakage. Yes, version leakage being the key there, because if you can tell what version of software it's running, what version of code it's running, then you can map that to the CVE, the uh, vulnerability there, and from there you know how to uh, exploit that device. One concluding point then, um, sure, yes, SD-WAN devices have some vulnerabilities. I'm not surprised. That doesn't mean SD-WAN is junk. It does mean that a lot of the SD-WAN products that are out there are built on Linux and some other sets of open source software that do have vulnerabilities. And therefore, the question you need to be putting to your SD-WAN vendor is, how are you hardening this device? How is this device secure? Beyond that, you should also be asking how, when this box needs to be upgraded to fix a vulnerability, uh, is my forwarding handled? Am I staying online? Or do I have to shut down and reboot this thing in order to fix the vulnerability? Uh, a good SD-WAN vendor can answer those questions in a very straightforward way for you.